My name is Aliona, and I travel the world by motorcycle with my Honda Hornet, aka the Bee. We'll have breathtaking views, awesome roads, and a good amount of challenge to make it even more exciting and memorable. Let's ride! Good morning from Taliati. Today, B and I are going for a little ride. We are going to visit Nikita, and then we'll have a little trip to Yoshkarala. Supposedly a very beautiful city where I haven't been yet. Let's ride! As you can see, some yellow leaves on the ground already. It's the 9th of September today. I came back from my trip on the 6th of July. So, already two months ago. And I actually did a few rides here around Taliati as well during this time. But unfortunately, due to some technical issues, the sound was not recorded on this episode. So, so most probably I'm not going to use these episodes. To be honest, the last two months have been very, very tough for me. Ten days after I arrived from my Siberian trip, my dad passed away. It was completely unexpected. He wasn't sick or anything. Just one morning, my mom and I were having coffee. And then we went to wake up my dad. And his heart was not beating. And that was it. The ambulance arrived 15 minutes later. And they said that my dad passed away like half an hour before. So... As my mom and I were drinking coffee, my dad took his last breath. As surreal as it is, as tragic as it is. But that's life. And now I'm learning to live this new life, learning to find joy and happiness again, learning to do the things I love. Of course, it's gonna take a long time to, to get used to this, if I ever will. But yeah. Life must go on. This monument in the middle of the roundabout is the symbol of Lada, the car factory. I know that in the whole world it doesn't have the best fame ever. Well, basically it lost its good reputation during the 90s. Well, the 90s, I already mentioned, that 90s were a very, very tough time in Russia. All the factories that belong to the government and to the state during the communism regime, all of a sudden didn't have an owner. So a big mafia war started for the power, for, for the ownership of factories, of all the production, and the production and the development suffered a lot. My dad worked for the Lada factory and he actually worked in this very building, in the brown one in front of us. He was working on the alternative energy sources, so he built the very first electric car in Russia. He and his team. Back in the 90s, precisely in 95, he was already driving his electric car around the city. I remember he was picking me up from, from a summer camp in this car. 
and I was so proud. I was telling all my friends in the summer camp that, look, my dad is driving an electric car. And back in 95, nobody knew what an electric car was. And they were like, no, no, just a, an ordinary, it's just a common ladder. And I'm like, no, no, look at this. It doesn't have an exhaust. <laughs> and I was like super, super proud of him. He was the smartest person in the whole world. He did so many cool things. Even in our house, both my parents' apartment and their summer house, they have so many of his inventions. And I'm all the time finding some sketches for his new projects, for his ideas, for his plans. He was also an amazing person. He always helped everybody. I don't think there was a time in his life that he said no to somebody. Rest in peace, Dad. I love you. And now we're on our way out of Taliati. We are going to take a highway to Ulyanovsk, where Nikita lives. And this is a brand new highway. It was just opened like a bit over a month ago and a new really cool bridge over the Volga River. Let's go check it out. Look at this. Amazingly beautiful. I think the more I travel, the more I start appreciating the beauty of the region where I was born. Ulyanovsk to the right. I already did a trip to Ulyanovsk. It's one of those that I might never release. If I don't, then at least I want to mention a couple of really cool things that we did during that trip. We did a tour around the city center of Ulyanovsk. Here we are, Lenin, aka Ulyanov, in Ulyanovsk. <laughs> And then I went to visit the guys from a local motorcycle club. Spent some time with them, we even went to watch the sunset. It was an amazing day. And now Nikita and I are going to be meeting outside of the city and continue straight to Yoshkarala. Another episode that I filmed about a month ago was when I went to a motorcycle festival. It's actually not so far from here, somewhere in those hills. And of course the motorcycle festival was very cool and the surrounding area was really beautiful as well. And yeah, <laughs> on the way back I took a forest road <laughs> and there was a little river crossing which uh, was supposed to be just ankle deep And I've got no reception here. Amazing. I think my only choice is to stay here and wait until somebody comes. 
I'm going to look for help in the village. So I talked to a couple of men here in the village and they say they will try to help me. Почти проехала, чуть-чуть осталось. А там все забуксовало и никак. Два года, три года назад мило отсюда вытаскивал, как солнце. Вода в воду там, бежок попала. Да, 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 пошло! Стоп! Здесь же как болото, песок засасывает. Давай сразу туда вытянем. Ты помогай, давай, я буду держать. Сколько весит? Есть. Держи сейчас, я принесу. Угу. Ты... Держи, держи. Нет, нет, поставь на поднож, он маленькую держит. It's a shame that uh, I lost the sound on all those episodes. I think they would have been really cool. But oh well, at least I can show you some clips. And now I think it's just about half an hour left until Ulyanovsk. We're pretty close already. And here we go. That's Ulyanovsk. And I think that somewhere here Nikita should be waiting for us Ah, there he is Yo! <laughs> so it's 350 kilometers until Yoshkarala And now we're leaving the region of Ulyanovsk and entering the Republic of Tatarstan. Actually, today we're passing through four different regions in Russia. We start in the Samara region, then enter the region of Ulyanovsk. Now it's the Republic of Tatarstan. And we're heading to the Republic of Mari El. Look at this beauty, like a painting. So beautiful. No, really, like a painting. Amazing. And it's just 70 kilometers until Kazan. Today we're not gonna enter the city. Our goal is Yoshkar Ola. I can see the sunset color star appearing in the sky. Just imagine the difference when I was returning back from Siberia. End of June, start of July, the sunset was at around 10 p.m. And now, in the beginning of September, it's at 7 p.m. So three hours difference between the sunset in just two months. Pretty crazy, right? Just quickly, quickly passing by Kazan. It's on the other side of the Volga River. Last time we took a ferry. This time we're taking a bridge. That's Kazan. Look at this beautiful black cloud in front of us. 
where would that come from? Perfect warm day, sunny, and then boom, black cloud. And this is the Republic of Mariel. Perfect timing. We just entered Yoshkarola right for the sunset. Yoshkarola, the name means the red city. Oh my god, look at this! The Kremlin! Nikit is looking for the hotel and I'm just looking around. I'm glad I'm not the one doing the GPS today. I guess we're staying somewhere here. So we have checked into the hotel and now we're going for a walk around the city. No, we are going to eat. Welcome to the city of Yoshkar Ola. This is the capital of the Republic of Mariel. Uh, the whole center is quite a recent construction, about 15, 20 years old. And it kind of in a weird way represents not just different cities in Russia, but also some different cities from abroad. Like this is like a miniature copy of Amsterdam slash Bruges. So some parts like this cathedral reminds of Moscow. And there are a lot of different opinions uh, about this because why instead of being an authentic Marielle construction, it's like small copies of other cities or even countries. Marielle actually has its own pretty rich culture and history. Um, it has its own language, its own religion. But yeah, that's the city center, so whether you like it or not, that's how it is. And honestly, I think it's pretty cool because it's kind of a local Disneyland where you can see beautiful bits and pieces of architecture <laughs> from around the world. <laughs> so it's uh, quite a weird but very interesting phenomenon. And I think it's worth a visit. And it's definitely nice and pretty for a day's walk around and it looks really beautiful during the night with all the lights on this very very beautiful church is probably the only like real authentic building construction here in the center it was built in 18th century according to the style and designs of like 16th century. I really like it, super beautiful. Good morning! Nikita and I are ready to leave our little wonderful hotel in the very center of Yoshkorala and we are heading back. Of course, today we're choosing a different road and I'm going to pass by a couple of places to see. Let's ride! Before we leave the city, we of course want to stop by the city center and take a photo. So now I have to choose a nice spot for a photo. Somewhere here.
photo then? Let's ride! Goodbye beautiful Yoshkarala. Maybe not very authentic, but quite pretty nonetheless. Big big river. And usually if you see a big big river in this area, it's Volga. Oh now we're entering the Republic the Chivash Republic. The fifth republic on this trip. And yeah, confirmed, this is the river Volga. Town of Tsivilsk. It must be super annoying to have a highway pass through the town. Like, oh, look at all these trucks. And we have turned on to a slightly more adventurous road. Definitely not a highway. And look at this super pretty curvy road. Very sweet. And we should turn somewhere here towards Medikasi. The names are so funny here. Again, this Republic of Chuvasha has its own language, its own culture, its own religion, like any other republic within Russia. <laughs> these fallen leaves oh so pretty but a little bit sad a bit sad to realize it's the end of summer the good news is that I'm very soon going back to Colombia to reunite with my cherry and continue our South American trip I've got my flights booked already. And getting ready for my departure. I think we're going to visit some kind of really cool bridge. I think I can see it already. Here we go. That's the awesome bridge. some bridge apparently not in use anymore but very instagrammable and now apparently Nikita wants to climb this wonderful uphill let's watch him let's watch him suffer давай давай On top of the world! Okay, <laughs> What an awesome train ride! It must have been a very scenic one, just like in Sri Lanka. If you've heard of Ella train, really cool. And that's the new bridge with a train on it. Goodbye, beautiful bridge. It was awesome to visit you. And now we're 
going to Ulyanovsk. It's about 150 kilometers away. And mostly asphalt road. <laughs> Ulyanovsk. Time to say goodbye to Nikita. Давай, пока. Goodbye, Nikita. Sunset time and the last little bit to get to the Liati. I should be back in about two hours time. It will most probably be dark by then. Well, I've heard the new bridge is pretty awesome with the lights on.